We're talking camera techniques and today we discuss panning and tilting. Camera panning or tilting has been around since the advent of cinema and it's the most basic camera move that there is. Panning is when you move your camera from left to right on a fixed axis and tilting is when you move your camera up and down on a fixed axis. It is a tilt up and down and a pan left and right. Do not say pan up and pan down. Well, I think the origin of the term tilt is pretty obvious. They're actually tilting the camera up and down. Panning is a little bit different. The term pan is short for panorama, which just means to get a wider view of any given space. And like a lot of other camera moves, one thing that's great about panning and tilting is that you, as the filmmaker, choose when to reveal information to the viewer that they didn't see a few seconds before. One thing I think that sets apart the pan and the tilt is that it's the only camera move that I can think of, other than the point of view shot, that has the camera mimicking the human head. For example, when you walk into a room and you want to see more, you can dart your eyes back and forth, which is completely unnatural, but that's actually more like a cut or an edit, or you can turn your head back and forth, which is like a pan. You can also look up and down, which is like a tilt. Making this kind of shot way more personal than a lot of other camera moves, it actually mimics kind of the human experience. And I don't think it's a coincidence that the most common device used to perform these moves, the camera tripod, has you mounting the camera on the tripod head, moving it around with a tripod arm, and the whole thing is supported by tripod legs. Coincidence? I think not. While you can perform pans and tilts with a handheld camera, your number one camera accessory always has been and always will be a fluid head tripod. Notice I didn't say tripod, I said fluid head tripod. A fluid head has an oil bearing in it which allows you to smoothly perform pans and tilts over and over, take after take. Please, I beg of you, don't use a still camera tripod. Still camera tripods are meant to be locked down, they're not made for camera movement, and if you've ever had the misfortune of trying to use a still camera tripod to perform a pan or a tilt, you know how frustrating, how annoying, how irritating, how crazy it will make you trying to do that. So please don't use a still camera tripod. Invest in a fluid head, borrow a fluid head. I've got an inexpensive model right here. It costs about $50, it's a Velbon. I'll leave a link below in the description if you're interested. And I promise you, if you do this, you will never ever regret investing in a fluid head. I promise. I hope you like this technique video, and if you've got any other input or anything else you'd like to add, please leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you want to see some other DIY filmmaking videos, please come to thefrugalfilmmaker.com. Thanks for watching.